Hola. Once again, welcome to Spanish Central. Thank you so much for being on the channel today. Today we take a slightly different look. Today we are going to dwell on applications of what we've already learned. We have covered a lot about verbs, like every verb in Spanish, all the verbs are going to end either in AR, ER, or IR. We've done the conjugations, like taking the verb in its infinitive form and breaking it down to the first person, second person, and so forth and so on. So now we take a look at how do you ap apply those verbs after learning the mechanisms, how do you use them in basic sentences? So pay close attention to today's lesson. You are going to, if you followed uh, previous lessons, you are going to see now some of those verbs we learned about, uh, the verbs, some ending in ER or IR. You're going to see some of them in the sentences that I have for you today. And this is a step, taking it a step further in now learning to how to apply them in day-to-day -day conversation, in practical situations, how you can apply those. This applies for everybody regardless of their level in Spanish. So once again, thank you for tuning in. Remember, uh, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload a new lesson. So let's start with our lesson today. The first sentence, que hora es? Now remember, in Spanish, the question, uh, if you are posing a question, he has two symbols of the question mark. One at the beginning of the sentence, uh, inverted, and one at the end of the sentence, the regular uh, question mark we know. So the first one is, que hora es? What time is it? Que hora es means what time is it? Second sentence is, de donde eres? De donde eres? Where are you from? De donde eres? Where are you from? A third example is Cuánto cuesta? Cuánto cuesta? How much is it? Or how much does it cost? Okay, now you see the application practical that I'm talking about. Let's go to our next example. Tengo cita. It means I have an appointment. Now, in brackets, there I've put, tengo cita al doctor, a la oficina. I have an appointment at the doctor's or at the office. What, why I put this in parentheses is because you can say tengo cita, and then in there you can slide. When you're making sentences, when you're practicing, that's how uh, you, you gain fluency. Like, take tengo cita, in there you can substitute with what you want to put. Tengo cita a la casa, I have an appointment at, at the house, at home. Tengo cita a la escuela, a la iglesia, I have an appointment at the school, at the church. So, I've left, I've put in brackets just for, for example purposes, but you can slide anything in there and form your sentence. So, in this case, it's tengo cita al doctor, a la oficina. I have an appointment at the doctor's at the office. Then the next one, tenemos cita con plural. We have an appointment with, again in brackets, uh, you can uh, slide anything uh, just to make your own sentence and depending on the situation. But in this case I've used tenemos cita con, we have an appointment with, Tenemos cita con el abogado o la profesora. Uh, tenemos cita con el abogado. We have an appointment with the lawyer. O tenemos cita con la profesora. We have an appointment with the teacher. Remember, la stands for feminine. So, la profesora, this would be a female teacher. Then the next one. Yo vivo en, and in brackets I put, México. Mexico in Peru. Again, I've put in brackets. You can pick whichever country or place you want. I live in, I live in, and then in 
uh, brackets are leaving Mexico or Peru. So this is just for example purposes. You can take your example uh, country you want a city and plug it in there and you have your sentence. Next one, boy a la escuela. I'm going to school. Boy a la escuela. I'm going to school. Our next example for this lesson is ellos son estudiantes. Ellos son estudiantes. They are students. Remember, they, ellos, is um, they masculine or mixed gender. If it was uh, feminine, it would be ellas. So ellos son estudiantes. They are students. Uh, the next one is Maria es mi prima. Maria es mi prima. It means Maria is my cousin. Now, prima is feminine. If this was a male, for example, if it was Mario, it would be Mario es mi primo. Mario es mi primo. But in this case, uh, it's uh, feminine. Maria es mi prima. Maria is my cousin. And finally, uh, final uh, example for today is mañana es, tomorrow is, and I've put uh, lunes and sábado, Monday and Saturday, for example purposes. So you can slide in whichever day you want there. Uh, mañana is, you can say, is martes, uh, is Tuesday, or is uh, domingo, is Sunday. But for this lesson, I've put mañana is lunes or sábado. Tomorrow is Monday or Saturday. So I hope by just looking at those you can see examples of verbs that we've learned before. Uh, again, I urge you go back to the previous lessons and you'll see some of the verbs you learned. I've put them in practical sentences. So let's do a quick recap of today's lesson. Que hora es? What time is it? De donde eres? Where are you from? Cuanto cuesta? How much is it? Or how much does it cost? Tengo cita al doctor a la oficina. I have an appointment at the doctor's or at the office. Tenemos cita con el abogado o la profesora. We have an appointment with the lawyer or with the teacher. Yo vivo en México o Perú. I live in Mexico or Peru. Voy a la escuela. I'm going to school. Ellos son estudiantes. They are students. Maria es mi prima. Maria is my cousin. Mañana es lunes. Sábado. Tomorrow is Monday or Saturday. So what I would like you to do is take these sentences and where you can you can uh, substitute like tengo cita al I have an appointment with put your own thing on there depending on the situation and uh, first practice with what I've given you then go out and, and, and change those like I explained uh, at the beginning of the lesson and this is how you develop fluency in Spanish what you learn then you expound on what you've already learned or on the example given and uh, this is how you develop fluency so uh, we've come to the end of today's uh, lesson. I do thank you um, so much for tuning in. And I as you uh, click on the bell icon to be notified of when I upload a, a lesson. So uh, for now, that's all. Hope to see you uh, during the next lesson. Tune in in Spanish Central. We can continue on uh, with this journey. So. Muchas gracias. Until the next time. Adiós.